I think this is it. Oi! That you banging on my door? <coughs> what? <coughs> That's the first thing I've said today. Really? I've been spoken all day. Pretty sure those are the first words I've spoken today. <coughs> Not even at, uh, at breakfast? <coughs> so dry. <coughs> Is there any particular reason or. <coughs> Do we have water around here somewhere? Are you guys here for that weirdo in apartment 25? Uh, yes, ma'am. We're actually detectives with the CCPD. Uh, are you the one that called? Yes. I heard lots of noises. Sounded like screaming coming from that apartment. Seems like lots of people go in there, but no one ever leaves. All right, ma'am, uh, we'll take it from here. Thank you very much. Lots of very uptight, sad looking people. Okay, ma'am, just uh, go back inside. People that look like they've got nothing to live for. All right, it's probably uh, best for you to just head back inside. It's safest in there, and we'll just take care of it. <clears throat> okay. All right. Ready? Should we? Okay, yeah. <clears throat> All right. Same time? Same time. Whoops. Neatest fellow. Looks like your place. <laughs> yeah. My place doesn't have any windows, though. Let me go look around. Oh! Here we go. What is it? Hey, I think you better check this out. It's a body. Yeah. It's a male. Should we aged or say a, uh, adult male approximate? Oh gosh. Wait, so, okay. Wait, is that the, uh... I mean, is that... What did we... Oh, whoops. I found the murder weapon. Yes. Oh. 
So, whoever stabbed, he must have. Uh, mm-hmm. After. Uh, you're thinking. Well, they ransacked the whole the living room and everything. What's this? Huh. Okay. Looks like you got hit on the head, too. Mm hmm. So. Whoever stabbed must have come in to the kitchen, mm-hmm. got the rolling pin, mm-hmm. finish him off. Finish him off. Here we go. Huh. Two glasses. Oh, well, maybe don't. Okay. It's fresh. Okay. Maybe yesterday, day before. Okay. What's this over here? got a dead end. What's this? Ugh, found this writing. It's Latin. Oh, it's yeah? nah, nah. Never mind. Yeah. Revo era. 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 Revo Okay. 
Okay, well, I don't know. Listen, we've done this before. I'm just okay. Texas with the CPPD. Who are you? Hey, this is my house, man. Who are you, goddammit? My name's John. We need your full name, John. All right. Uh, uh, my last name is, uh... uh All right, John, listen up. We're investigating some screams that came from inside this apartment. You know anything about that? Yeah, and I hate to say it, but there's been a lot of suspiciousness going on here. Yeah, we need to know what's been going on in here. Yesterday. All right, all right. Well, yesterday, shoot, uh, nothing really. Just uh, watched a ball game. Comma, and... yesterday. Yeah, it's uh, more of an expression. You know. Yeah, it's more of an immediacy thing as I understand all right, it. Well, I mean, the way that you phrase it, though. Well, yeah, you know, it's like, uh, you know, it's an expression. It's like, I, I would like to have known yesterday, but since that's not possible. Unless something did happen yesterday. It's a problematic expression in this situation, considering the importance right. of time frames and... I think we all get it. Let's just talk about the screaming. Yeah, tell us about the screaming. Your neighbor said there was some screaming going on? Uh... Which, uh... One upstairs, oh, and then that uh, over. Also, I oh, found this hand on God. the ground. Oh! Uh, thank God you found that! Uh, that's, uh, that's my hand. I cut it off, uh, hence the, uh, screaming that, you know. Why'd you cut your hand off, John? Why'd you cut your hand off, John? Uh, you know, uh, just sadness, just, uh, you know, just deep, just bottomless sadness. Well, John, we're sorry again about the mix-up. You're gonna probably get that uh, severed hand on ice as soon as you can. Do you need us to call you an ambulance? Uh, yeah, thank you, officers. Oh, we're detectives. You know what? You should think about cleaning up this fucking pigsty, man. You know, you're absolutely right. I thank you very I much. I mean, your space is a mess. I mean, I, I, I should know. You're, you're just reinforcing the negativity. That is great advice. Thank you. Get your goddamn life together, John. I mean, we only get one shot at this life, you know what I mean? Yes. Thank you very much. I very much appreciate that. That is inspirational, and I'm going to think very hard about what you told me here today. See that you do. See that you do. Freeze! Whoa, whoa, CPPD! Whoa, 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 you freeze! We're detectives. Apologies, detectives. Yeah. So, uh, what, are, what are you doing here? Well, I got dispatched here after a call center employee showed up at the precinct with one hand, saying he'd been drugged after drinking some wine at a party for call center employees. He wakes up chained to a chair, but he managed to free himself by cutting his own hand off and then whacking the guy with a rolling pin. But before he left, he managed to leave uh, some sort of sign as to where the rest of the captives were being held in some sort of hidden room. Call center employees, huh? Yeah, I wasn't in much of a hurry myself. Wait, so they drugged the wine? Well, that's what the guy says. What's the uh, what's the real story there? Well, officer, right before you showed up, we established that this, everything you see, is John's apartment. This is John, by the way. He's an adult male we found presumed dead in his kitchenette. Apparently alive and well, but coincidentally missing a hand that he removed himself due to a deep, deep sadness. We had a couple of run-ins with some weird secret stacky statues and a couple other strange little mishaps. Ultimately, he seems like a perfectly fine guy, uh, just a little messy. So, do you want me to go ahead and call that in? Let's go ahead and call that in. Hey, great work there, detectives. Yep. Mm. 
This is uh, Officer Zamoripa. Over. Sorry again, John. You, you sure we can't call you an ambulance? When I was good, I wasn't born to love. Now that it's bad, it's in our souls. It's in our souls. When we were blessed, we were blessed and punched to love. Now that the crime's confessed, we are walking over the hot coals. When the dress was white, it was white as the sun. When the sun was bright, we lived down there in the shotgun. When the rains came, well, we did the best we could. If it weren't for the alligators, we would have slipped out.